All right, welcome back to LearnWire. I've got a really good product that I'm gonna be reviewing today, and it's called uh, Warp Index. I've installed this on my site more than 24 hours ago, so we'll go take a look at what it's been able to do for my website, the information that it's gotten, but essentially without looking into this any further or reading the entire sales page for you, you're gonna be able to automate website indexing on Google to ensure your content is appearing in search results. So it does require a Google Search Console connection, and so I know that that is one of the things that some people are concerned with and some people have completely ditched the relationship between a website and like Google search console, right? Because some SEOs or some people have had all of their sites taken down inside of their library of their Google search console. So that is another, you know, kind of topic of discussion. But at the end of the day, in order to force indexing or request indexing, for your website into the Google search engine, it requires uh, a Google search console account, right? Because you can manually do this. You can go into Google search console, grab the URL of the blog post you just created, and you can paste it in there and you can say request indexing, right? But that becomes kind of a, a little bit of a, just a hassle and tedious every single day, especially if you're doing, you know, three, four, five blog posts per website per day. It's an extra added step. And so a tool like Warp Index is gonna allow us to do that full connection. It's gonna go and do all that automated for us, which is super cool. And it's going to, essentially what the tool is going to do is uh, it's going to continuously monitor your website for new pages that are appearing on your website. And then it's going to tell Google and try to, and, and, and push that indexing for us. Okay. It's going to give us our stats and so forth. So, and then it also, it's going to look for any somehow, I don't know how they do this part, but it apparently it will also understand if you've updated a web page, there's some type of blueprint, right? It will understand that, Oh, uh, there's been a change or an update to a web page, and then it's going to go out there and also try to get that indexed as well. So pretty cool stuff. It's not really an alternative to Ahrefs or SEMrush. I mean, there's no keyword research. There's nothing else going on other than it's an indexing tool. I'm sure that there's plugins for WordPress and so forth that you can use as well, but this is just kind of a cool paid tool that's going to do it for you. Most of those tools I believe are going to be some type of advanced connection or a process kind of tech, you know, technology, or sorry, more on the techie side to set up this process to have it automated, it can be a little bit confusing and kind of hard for most people to to kind of do it on the back end and so forth. And then also right over here, the integrations, there's API, there's Google Search Console, obviously, I connected via that. There's Webflow, WordPress and Zapier. So, you know, it doesn't have to be a WordPress site, which is super cool. But We'll go down, just want to take a look over here. So we have Shireen, and that's our contact for Warp Index. You can go and take a look over here. And Shireen, Shireen is the founder of Warp Index. You can go read about all this. I'm not going to really do that. They have a LinkedIn, Twitter, a Help Center, FAQ, Roadmap, G2 Reviews. And so I'm going to go over here to maybe the Roadmap real quick. And we'll just take a look. You guys will notice I'm using a different browser. I'm actually using and trying out. This is my very first day at my computer using the Arc browser. So I know some of you have uh, told me, because I did a browser like a month or two ago. I, there was a, I think it was called Sidekick. It's a pretty cool, you know, web browser tool. I did a review on that. And then I had a lot of comments saying, hey, check out the Arc browser. So I went ahead and installed it. And it does take a little bit of time to kind of get all set up and get used to it. It's really hard to leave a browser that you're completely used to. If you guys want me to do a, just kind of a full video on the Arc browser, cause I'm gonna be using this probably for the next week, um, diving into it and then doing like an overview of my thoughts. So do I like it and so forth? Leave a comment below and just say, hey, Arc browser or something like that. And I'll, I'll make a video for you guys, but we are in a different browser. And like an idiot, you know, I, I swear there, that I, I there was no way to change this doc setting but I went and I changed the doc setting down here somewhere. I was able to change the, the size of this toolbar. So it's not so big. And so we have even more canvas space. So, which is super cool. But back to the review, 
So we have uh, our roadmap. So Bing support for auto indexing. So pushing our web pages to Bing is going to be something that they are working on. Ask AI, query our AI co-pilot about your uh, Google Search Console data and search performance. So that would give us like information. Hey, what types of posts are doing well, getting more traffic and stuff like that. So that would be really cool. Deep GSC uh, and analytics track keyword performance. So there's a lot that they can do to this tool to to make it stand out to be kind of like a I think it's a the, another tool that I that comes to mind it's SEO crawl which is an advanced analytics and reporting dashboard for Google Search Console and if they can build more uh, tools like that then this is going to be a, a super super useful tool because it's you know main focus is to get your web pages indexed and constantly monitoring your site and indexing pages so I like that. So they do have a roadmap right there. They do have a lot of good stuff planned. So that's good. We're going to go and just look at the plans and features. So you have your bulk URL de-indexing. There's a de-indexing de tool as well. So there's a huge, there's like a, a big pro learning curve and process to try to de-index URLs. And there's reasons uh, to do that and not to get really into that on this video, but the fact that they have an option for that, I don't know. I, I'm not going to test it. I don't have any URLs that I need to de-index, but the fact that they have that as an option is pretty uh, encouraging and pretty cool. Unlimited URLs, uh, awesome. Sitemap and auto sync, Google auto URL indexing and projects and cycles. So tier one, it comes in at $29. It's nice to see a tool under 30 bucks. There's not been a lot of those lately, but you get two websites, one user, 200 requests per day. I mean, if you're, you know, having more than 200 requests, because that's going to go and index your site and do a full crawl and everything. Chances are you don't need more than 200 pages indexed in one day anyways. And so that's going to work pretty well. Uh, I think that they have their numbers right, right over here. Leave a comment below if you think that the numbers are off, but I mean, it looks uh, pretty good, like a hundred requests per day per site. Now, if you only have one website, I don't know if this uh, all 200 can be allotted to the one website, but it, the way that it's listed right here, it looks like that that is the case. We have your daily site map sync. So it's basically, it's just synced. And then once you get into tier three, you have a twice a day sync and then we can get into license tier five hourly site map sync right over here. Okay. So we have license tier one, $29. You get two websites, license tier two, 79 bucks. You get five websites, five users, 400 requests per day. License tier three <clears throat> comes in at 25 websites. This is probably the one that I would see myself getting. I don't ever want to see myself managing more than 25 websites at once. So I think that's a really, really good deal. 20 users, 1200 requests per day and twice a day sync. And then you have your license tier four at $399, 75 websites, 50 users, 3,600 requests per day, twice a day site map. And then finally they're all out or you're all in is license tier five at $799, 200 websites, 100 users, 10,000 requests per day and hourly site map sync. Okay. So they do have a nice wide range of pricing tiers for you. And then we'll just go and look at the reviews. So it looks like it's averaging a 4.7 right now. And the summary customers are praising warp index for its any it's efficient and reliable page indexing impressive results and great support. While there are a few hiccups like limited features and interface improvements needed warp index is hitting the mark and is a solid buy for those in need of auto, automate website indexing on Google. And if it does the automation, then that's pretty much it's doing, you know, it's fulfilling its MVP of the product. Most people are giving it five stars and are liking it. So let's go jump into the tool real quick. Here is the web page, a nice slick dark mode web page right over here. I'm not going to go over the everyday pricing. I'd have to do a follow up video for that because this is the lifetime deal right now. So that's all I want to focus on in this video is the the lifetime deal pricing. But then you'll just go click on log in. Now I do have license tier one, so I do have full access to this. So. We'll go and log in and check it out. So we've added a site over here. Before we do that, you can already see that 79% of my pages are indexed 144 and you have to, we can go and dive in and look at more of what pages are not indexed. A lot of them are tag pages. Google probably is um, not wanting to index tag pages as uh, much as anymore because it gets uh, indexed like a page and there's really no reason for it to get indexed. So I've already inspected it a little bit. We'll go take a look at that a little bit more. But uh, you can come over here, you can go into your billings or organization settings and so forth. We can go into, they do have a help dashboard that's going to kick me out and go into another page, but they do have a full help section. I'm not going to go over that. 
So here's your settings right over here. So you're gonna have your email address right here. I'm a super admin or over here we can resend invite. We can add a user very easily right over here. It's a very nice, slick, clean, crisp, easy to use user interface. I really like the apps where it's just very easy. There's not a lot going on. And so uh, I would definitely give them an A or a, a five-star rating for the UI. Very easy to use. So there's your users list. And then you have your Google search console settings right over here. You're going to have your you know email and your name right there. And the status of it is healthy. So you can look at the status. If there's some type of uh, bre uh, break in the connection, then uh, you'll know right over here. And then you have your add your GSA, GSC connection. You're just going to click on that. And then you're going to go over that and go through the process of hooking up your search console. There was a couple technical steps. It wasn't that bad. They have instructions on exactly what to do and everything. And then we were able to get that um, set up. You have to, they give you a, a line of code and then you have to go into your Google search console and then paste that in. I'm not going to show you how to do that because I don't have to go and blur um, everything out and so forth for you. But there is a little bit of a setup right there, but it, it takes less than five minutes and most of you won't have any a bit of a hard time at all with doing that. Okay. So then now we'll go back over into sites. And this is where you could go and you can actually push on the add site button. And once your search console set up, then you can just go and push on import site. It's going to pull your Google search console and then all the sites listed under that Google, Google search console. And then you're going to be able to just um, add the site very, very quickly at the click of a button. Now, I believe you'd be able to connect multiple Google search consoles as well. Let's see right over here. They do have a help section over here as well, right over here. And then we can go into messages and we can go and send a message and I'm just going to go and test it out. So it looks like they do have like an AI bot right over here, AI powered agent. And then, you know, obviously if they can't answer your question, then they'll you'll probably have to email you back. All right. So perfect. So let's go back into sites. Let's go in and check out, you know, the learnwirepro.com. And you can see that we have 182 pages. You can see a chart right over here, 38 pages, not indexed. You get, you get this by day actually. So it'll be really nice to see, you know, in a week from now, you'll really be able to see like a, a, a picture of, you know, especially knowing how many posts you're posting per day. And then you obviously want to see this chart. You want to see it trend upwards because you're po publishing more content. You should get more pages indexed and so forth and so forth. Last thing you want to see is this going down, right? That would also be a bad sign that something else is going on with your site or Google is, you know, not, not playing very nicely with your, your website. You can see that the site is hundred percent scanned up over here as well. And you can see right over here, your website has been added successfully. Please sit back while warp index does its magic. Your page submissions to index will begin shortly. It usually takes 24 to 72 hours to start seeing results. So we can come down here and you can also see by pages. It's going to give us a nice status indexed indexed. So we can go over here. You can sort by, you know, easily just sort by that. You can also do a filter right here. If you really wanted to look at the ones like the, well, I found the one that is not crawled currently not indexed is going to be the most common reason that it's not indexed because you can see right over here crawled not indexed and you can see this tag right here tag 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 web stories i don't think i even have any web stories but i did create a page for it so that doesn't surprise me there's nothing to index on that page but look at this tag 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 all those tags are not now these would be pages that i would want to be indexed so hopefully we'll come back and we'll see that it'll be more encouraging in a week or two if we can get these pages indexed and if you know in a week they don't get indexed then that means that i need to go and update the and i need to create better content for those pages but you can go and you can look at all kinds of different from status they also have a view right over here. We can just look at, you can turn on, we have all of it turned on, but if you don't want to look at say the URL, I don't know why you wouldn't want to look at that. I'm not really sure what the title is that that's yeah. I don't really see a title right over there. I don't know what actions is either. So if you wanted to take bulk action, so for example, if we wanted to come over here and just look at maybe the status and we wanted to check mark um, all these ones right here and maybe I, I don't want to check mark those ones but let's say you have these three right over here that we want to do something about we can check mark those boxes we can take an action on that we can queue for indexing queue for dn de de indexing queue for status check so we actually queue these for indexing 
and queued for indexing. So that simple, you can find the pages that are not indexed and then uh, basically force them to get indexed and it will go out there. And you can keep monitoring this, what how, how it's changing each day. Now we have a bulk indexing right over here. You have your site map. It's gonna pull your site map right over here and you can submit for indexing, but we've already done that. And in the end, Warp Index will automatically do that for us when we hook up our tool. And so we don't really need to do this. Maybe this is something you do once a month or maybe once every a few months or something like that if you're having indexing issues. Another cool feature is you can do a URL list and let's say you had five blog posts on this site published today, you could just go ahead and grab those right there and you could submit those for indexing all at once if you wanted to. The tool is designed to automatically index new pages um, daily anyways. It's gonna search the database, search your site map and then do it automatically. So it'd be nice to kind of test this out, right? To see, do we really need to um, do any force indexing or not so but there is an option there that's cool here's the bulk de-indexing de works the same way you can paste your urls right there if you want to de-index any pages you're probably going to use a url list I, I don't think i would want to de-index uh, an entire site map unless you have like a video site map or something like that that you're not no longer using and you want to de-index it and then you have your setup right over here you can see that this is where we added our sitemap just by pushing add. Auto indexing is right here, so it's gonna go and do that. And it was last scanned 38 minutes ago. So I'm thinking that this is, you know, around eight something in the morning is when I installed this, I'm not sure, but it is, you know, doing this at least once a day, it's gonna go ahead and, and do a full scan and so forth, right? So that's the tool, guys. I mean, it's very, very easy to use. Right now, it's it's strictly an indexing tool. This is cool too, you can use the pages, you can look at, you know, several pages at once like this, and you can kind of get a good feel for what types of URLs, this is the way I would use the tool right now anyways, is I would just sort and then I would see currently not indexed and see if there's any other reasons why things are not being indexed. And that's the only common reason. They're just currently not indexed, but they have been crawled. So you would just want to monitor that and see if we can get this number right here, 38 pages to see if that changes in the next few days or the next week or two, right? So that's Warp Index. It does exactly what it uh, says it's doing so far. I don't have any... I haven't used it long enough to see if it's going to uh, get any of these 38 pages indexed for us, but we'll come back. I'll do an update video for you if, you know, there's something really standing out about the tool, but overall, clean, crisp, you know, UI, very easy, very simplistic. The, it has an MVP. It does one thing and it does it well. And so, you know, I'd have to give this a good, a good grade. I'll come back. And, you know, if we, if I can see that it really is indexing our pages fast and so forth, I'll come back, but we do have the reviews. Uh, people are happy with it and so forth. I did read some of the reviews where people used it for a week or two, and they did get a lot of their pages indexed that were not indexed for weeks or even months, months before that. So, so overall with that information, and so forth. Um, I can say that this is a good tool. I'd probably give it a 4.5. The reason why I'm not giving it a five is because it's just not, it has no other features really. It just, it does one thing. It does it well, so nothing major to complain about, but you know, I try not to hand out fives if I can help it. So a 4.5, extremely solid score. And I would definitely recommend taking a look at Warp Index. I probably would start at level tier two, at least five websites, probably the best. I think the best overall license tier would probably be your 199 level at tier three, which is going to allow you to have 25 websites, which is gonna, you know, for 90 plus percent of people is gonna work out just fine. So this is Warp Index on AppSumo, lifetime deal. Click the link below if you want to go and check it out and pick it up. I'll see you guys in the next video.